Hi everybody, welcome to my try on video for Mexico. I also have a special message from my daughter and her good friend. They are raising money for THON, which is the largest student run philanthropy in the world, which is done out of Penn State. They raise money for pediatric cancer. And this is Angie's senior year. My son Anthony went to Penn State as well. This is our seventh and final year at Penn State University. So I would love so much for you to listen to Angie's message. I'm gonna put her video after my first day of trying this is day two of try-ons. I'm in my swimsuit right now and the first day I was just like oh boy It's a good thing. I'm doing this video because I feel like I have so much more to pack It is snowing like crazy right now. So the fact that I'm standing here in my bathing suit and cover-up I'm like, oh my gosh I cannot wait to be by the water and in the Sun So let's get into the other days try on and then today I'm kind of filling in the gaps making a few adjustments. Thank you so much for being here I'm kind of uncomfortable in all of these try-ons. So bear with me with me. Jay and I are longtime Dave Matthews fans. We've probably seen Dave probably 10 to 15 times, East Coast, West Coast, wherever we are. He does a three-day concert acoustic with Tim Reynolds in Mexico every year, and so we had friends who got us all excited about it, and we decided rather spontaneously to do this trip. We've never done an all-inclusive. This is a huge branch out for us. We're so excited and I just wanted to share with you some of the outfits. I'm actually in a dress right now that's too tight. I did not lose the 30 pounds I wanted to lose for this trip, um, but we are going with what we have, which is fantastic. Um, I bought this dress when I was in Florida. The problem I'm going to have with packing for this trip is I wear Spanx all the time. Like I will wear something to suck me in in all the right places and so I can pull off a dress. I'm on vacation, I'm not wearing Spanx. That's going to affect some of my choices today. Let me know in the comments if, if that's something that you struggle with. This is a medium, I bought it on consignment. It's Ann Taylor Loft with Spanx. I think I would be absolutely fine, but I just think it's a little tight through here. This is a no-go for Mexico. So let's see what outfit number two has in store. All right, now this is right up my alley. Love this. This is a new to me dress. I actually thrifted this universal thread uh, sleeveless dress and I had it in the pile to sell at a whatnot show. And before we listed it, I said to Tina, you know what, I think I might try that dress on. So she remembered when I got ready for my last whatnot show and she's like, didn't you wanna try this dress? And it also needed to be washed. So I put it on and I absolutely love it. It's kind of cut on the side here. I might even be comfortable wearing this, you know, sleeveless on the beach. I have enough room that I could wear it over a bathing suit. I just love it. I feel like this can bring me from daytime to evening. I don't really know how I'm gonna dress for the concerts because the show are at night and they're on the water and it's a massive resort so there's gonna be a lot of walking involved I think I'm gonna bring my Birkenstock some sneakers and some flip-flops this I can also wear with several other things underneath I have this pair of bike shorts that I ordered from Amazon and they're longer length when I had my son Rocco I ended up with a lovely I don't know if you can see it from there. Let me come back. I have a Veracruz vein. I don't really like to wear shorts because it almost looks like this giant bruise. So I bought these bike shorts that come down like right above my knee. They have pockets, they're compression, they were inexpensive. I love them so much. I bought two pairs. I'll leave a link for them if you're interested. So I will bust those out. They're not very fancy, but I think as a practical mat matter, I'm going to be wearing those a lot, but I really feel good in this. I'm probably going to have big earrings on. I'm also um, doing like a self tanner. One of my good friends and my hairdresser, uh, Kim, recommended this Jergens Wet Natural Glow. So you put this on in the shower when your skin's still wet, so it's super low maintenance, and I've just been doing it every day, and it's just enough. I don't have like a crazy, crazy tan right now, but I'm feel, I don't feel so like pasty white. I'm gonna do it every single day for the next few days, so I hopefully have some color. And I got the medium to deep, even though my skin tone isn't super dark. I just wanted to like accelerate the color, so it was like 10 or $11. I really like it. I just grabbed this Hoboken t-shirt, which I'm probably not gonna bring to Mexico. You saw this 
outfits part partly when I went to Japan. These are some overalls that I wore when we went to Tokyo. They're a size 12. I thrifted them. They are so comfortable. It's going to be 80 degrees, but honestly, that is going to feel cool after how hot Tokyo was in August. I don't think I've been that hot in a very long time. This is also not like I'm tied evenly. I think one of the reasons this was at the thrift store is because there were buttons missing. So I just pushed this through and tied it and I kind of think it's pretty cute, but I was a little bit uneven, but that's better. And then I just kind of let this hang and it's really cute. So outfit number two. This is the birthday dress that I wore for my 50th. I decided to put my hair up in the back and then also put some earrings on because I will likely have earrings on every day. And this is a Veronica Beard dress that I bought at TJ Maxx. This was not thrifted. It was a little bit of a splurge, but it was my 50th birthday and I bought it as an option. Wasn't even thinking I was going to actually wear it and then I decided to wear it. I feel like I look a little busty in this because it just, it comes like ties right under here. Sorry, Lumpy is in Jay's closet and he's making a lot of noise. I can see if I have a minimizer bra with me to bring, but this is just so comfortable. I'm not going to sweat it. It's long sleeve, so it could be a little bit warm, but it's really gauzy. I think this will look fantastic like a couple days in if I get a nice tan and we go out to dinner and you know I have some fun jewelry to go along with it. I never wear my hair up. I used to when I was a kid but I'm sure at some point it will be up <laughs> during the vacation but this is a really fun dress. This feels like a vacation dress and I'm very excited to get more use out of it. I should try to find some like bronzy uh, jewelry because there is like a, this metallic um, sparkle to it. It's very, very comfortable. I don't know if it's the most flattering fit, but it's also nice for me to not just wear black all the time. He keeps hiding under the curtain because that is his favorite thing. Look at Lumpy got a haircut. Yeah, you look so handsome. You kind of match my dress. Yes. All right, let's try something else on. Okay, this feels, this feels like it's a little too short to wear on its own. I would probably wear this with bike shorts, but oh my gosh, this is so comfortable. We're only there for five days, but I feel like there's going to be time by the pool, then we go in and we shower and dinner, and then maybe we might change again and go to the concert. I've never been on a vacation like this, so I don't really know how much I'm going to need. I always overpack and then I end up wearing the same things <laughs> the whole time. So I'm really going to try to be more intentional with my outfits um, but this I think is just like an easy thing to throw in there that I know I can just like you know go down for mimosas in the morning with flip-flops and be cool with that so yeah I think I am going to bring this Gucci bag which is also funny enough what I brought to Japan. I wouldn't think that this would have ended up being like my travel bag, but I got this bag when I was in Italy. It's just great because I think of red as a neutral. It's crossbody. It's very lightweight. It's a bit of a pop of color because I wear so much black. So I feel like this is a good choice. And actually the next outfit, we'll see. I think this will look really cute with it too. I'm going to try in my Farm Rio dress, which I'm very excited for. Here's the Farm Rio dress. This to me just screams Cancun vacation. I was originally supposed to wear this to Barcelona. My daughter studied in Barcelona last spring semester, but then my dad got sick and we ended up having to cancel that trip. So this still has the tags on it. I just think it is the perfect vacation dress. I ended up taking off my necklace and put on some statement earrings. And I mean, I could get really colorful with my earrings. These I just grabbed and I put on a red lip. I love this outfit. I wish I had some shapewear on with it because I feel like right here, which is kind of my problem area, even though this is loose and stuff, I feel like I would just look thinner if I had some shapewear on. I'd probably just bring a pair of shapewear underwear. I have some super high-waisted ones that hold me in. So we'll see how this goes, but here's the look. My red bag, of course, does look, go really well with it. And that's so cute. Then some sunnies on and then some flip flops. I think there's going to be a lot of ground to cover. So I have to make sure I have comfortable shoes and my husband walks and I love walking too. We cover a lot of ground when we're together. We're actually looking to do an excursion one day to the pyramid 
and we're just waiting for details on it. You could do that day trip through the Dave Matthews website, but the days that they slotted were days that we didn't want to go. So we're trying to go through the hotel and see if we can have an excursion. So I definitely need like a good outfit for just like being in the sun all day. That's that's going to be a bike short outfit, sneakers, and probably a t-shirt. Nothing fancy. This is fun. This is really fun, Lumps. So here we are with um, the kimono that I just bought last week. Really fun, southwestern vibe. Super easy to throw on. And under here is what I would consider like my uniform. This is like my uniform year round. Tank top, black leggings, throw something on over it, whether it's a sweatshirt, a sweater, a cardigan, a kimono. That's kind of the look that I like. Um, I can't find my bike shorts right now, so I just grabbed these. Um, Old Navy leggings that are cropped, but it, in all likeliness, I will have bike shorts on just because it will be cooler for me. I have a few different type of kimono style things that I will show to you now. Southwestern is not like tropical vacation, not like the Farm Rio dress that I just tried on, but I still think it will be really fun. I have a pair of like cut off denim jeans and a tank top. This would be really cute for the concert at night, but we'll see. I think this is a really versatile piece, so I'm not sure exactly how I'll wear it, but this is a very likely scenario to wear it um, like this. So what do you think? What's your favorite so far? I'm curious. Hey everybody, um, my name is Angie. I am Lori's daughter of Lori's Boston Found. Um, this is my roommate, Aubrey. We both go to Penn State and we're currently in the process of raising money for something at Penn State called THON. So what THON is, it's a 46 hour dance marathon. It's no sitting, no sleeping, and dancers will stay in what we have, the BJC, for 46 hours, all to raise money for pediatric cancer, for four diamonds. So what the Four Diamonds does is when a child is diagnosed with cancer, they go into the hospital room and they basically make sure that that throughout the time of the treatment and beyond that that family will never see any medical bills. So Four Diamonds is an incredible organization that we've been raising money for since July and our efforts are all kind of coming to a close here. Thon weekend is February 16th to the 18th. <laughs> right now, I'm the primary thon chair for our business fraternity, Phi Gamma Nu. We have four amazing families that we raise money for, the Ackrights, Shapiros, the Millers, and the Eichelbergers, and we do a bunch of events with them throughout the year. We do picnics, a 5K, and we'll see them during thon weekend. Almost all of our family members have been in our organization at one point, so it's something super close to our heart as well. I'm going to link the donor, our donor drives below. Donor drive is what we use to fundraise our money for THON. We would really appreciate any amount of money that you guys would be willing to donate. It's going to an incredible cause, and we have been spending all year working towards this goal, and we hope to see our efforts come through. Thank you, <laughs> Thank guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for supporting Angelina and her friend Aubrey in their fundraising efforts to raise money for pediatric cancer through their organization, PGN, which is Angie's business fraternity. All right, the lighting's really good here, so I am going to shift gears. Upstairs was getting a little too dark. This is a bag that I thrifted. It's absolutely beautiful. It is leather. It is lined. I love that it's the pop of this like beautiful caramel brown with the black um, leather trim. These are my YSL sunglasses that I got, I think at TJ Maxx. Um, I have all of my wire and stuff here. I never thought I would be in a bathing suit on YouTube, but here I am. I also have another bathing suit. It's higher here ruching in the tummy area, but then no skirt. So it's black. I'm gonna be wearing these bathing suits every day. I don't know how much space I'm going to have. I have one large suitcase. We're also going to Chicago for a day, so I have to bring some warm clothes just for a day. So I think you're seeing a theme here where I often start out, sorry, my camera is a little low. I often start out with something black as my base and then I can accessorize. I do think it is helpful if I bring in a bag or sunglasses or earrings, but let's um, try on a dress and see what else we have for you. This is a dress from Athleta that I thrifted for like $5 in this army green and my bathing suit's on underneath it. So I don't have like a ton of support up here, but it's good enough that I could, you know, throw it on and go get drinks or lunch with my bathing suit underneath and still feel pretty comfortable. I don't know that I would wear this dress out. It's all right. It's it's not bad. It's about knee length. It's cute. I think it's important for me to have something other than just the kimono 
cover-up style thing like the dress is just more functional I can throw this on I can wear this with flip-flops with sneakers with Birkenstocks over bathing suit just by itself this is a pretty versatile piece it's cute with this bag I think I'm definitely gonna bring this bag this is adorable and it fits a lot without being too heavy as long as I can fit it over my shoulder which I can so all right here's another little piece uh, these are the shorts <laughs> that I wanted to show you I'm wearing a pair also. Are these inside out? They are a size large. Oh, this one has all the information has wiped off. These must be the older ones, but let me flip them this way. Pockets here, super high-waisted. I'm wearing them with this top from yesterday. So they come just above my knee. They feel so good. Pockets right here for cell phones so I can be hands-free if I don't have my purse. I love, love these shorts. I wanna say they were like 20 bucks. They're fantastic. So I can wear these with a variety of tops. I have this black floral that's really pretty if I just want something like slightly dresser, dressier. If we're going out to dinner, again, I need to look at the agenda. I am the world's worst traveler. I'm good in the sense that I don't stress, but I'm bad in the sense that I don't plan or organize my days. So I'm. this is really helping me with that. I have something that's not black. You're gonna be very excited. <laughs> I'll be right back. This is John was Lululemon tank top torrid size 12 thrifted capris. I like the way these colors go together. I'm just so partial to dark colors. Maybe later in the week if I get a nice tan this will look even better. So I think this is a nice little change. I'm sure all of my friends who always comment that I should wear something other than black will enjoy this outfit. This Johnny Was piece is just stunning. It's gorgeous. I need to wear this more frequently. This would even be pretty if I had like a rust colored or a pink colored dress to wear underneath as well. I have a thrifted black dress to show you and then I think that's it. And then I'll just kind of show you what I'm throwing in my bag and we'll call it a day. What do we think of the baseball hat? Do we like this? So this is actually a thrifted dress. This was also thrifted. I thrifted this Madewell dress. I believe it's a size 14. I'm just mentioning sizes. So if you know your size, you're looking at me, you can get an idea of what it looks like. The back of this was supposed to be a cutout, like open. When I looked up the stock photos based on the style numbers but this was not cut out so somebody had stitched the back so instead of disclosing all of that in a Poshmark listing I'm like well why don't I try it on I'm not interested in a cut out in the back so I tried it on and I really like it it's super cute it's got like the flouncy little sleeves but I think just as something making it a little bit more casual you can put on a baseball hat with it this would be cute with sneakers too here is this dress a little on the shorter side I love it with the hat without the hat it feels a little bit dressier for sure and I would definitely wear those big honking earrings that I showed in the last video where I was up in my closet the lighting is so much better down here and it's just because it's snowing out I'll give you a glimpse of the snow it's crazy I'm really looking to bring versatile pieces that I can wear poolside, I can wear to dinner, I could potentially wear at the concerts at night, or if we do any sort of excursions. So that's what I'm going for. This gives you a little taste of what things will look like in Mexico. I decided to put black, no shock, underneath my overalls, and then just really focus on a stronger lip color and bold earrings and have my necklace out. So the focus is all kind of here and the rest of my outfit is just really super streamlined. So I think I mentioned white, but I wore black in Japan and I really liked how that looked. And then if I either have the brown bag or my red Gucci, I think it will look fantastic. What do you think? I also have these Lululemon black pants that are pretty lightweight. They're just ankle length and you can throw these on. They're pretty casual, but I feel like I can dress them up. They have pockets. So I will definitely bring these with me as well as an alternative, but definitely like to stay dark on the bottom and little pops of color here and there occasionally up top. That is all for today's video. I am so glad I did this because I figured out just what I should be bringing to Mexico and some things that I shouldn't be taking. Thank you all so much for supporting Angelina and Aubrey and their fundraising efforts for THON. Anything will help this tremendous cause to help end pediatric cancer and to support the families of those children who are suffering. I appreciate you all so much. I will definitely take some footage in Mexico to share with you, probably some stuff in my Instagram stories if you wanna follow me over there. My Poshmark closet will be paused while I'm away 
it's going to be in vacation mode. So when I turn it back on, I'm going to be sending out some wonderful offers on my closet. So stay tuned for that. I am looking forward to a fantastic little getaway. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching us today and I'll see you soon. Bye.